guys, welcome back to another awesome episode of Southern Extreme TV. Today, I'm just being honest with you, this video really just doesn't have a purpose. Um, and the main reason that I'm filming it is I had a, I had a very successful, unsuccessful weekend in Tennessee trying to fish. I had one video that worked out and my goal was two to three videos while I was there kayak fishing. It didn't work out, but I did get to spend some time with my family. That was the main thing. So now, trying to salvage this weekend, we are gonna go shooting. I've got my buddy Taylor back over here at the house with me, the guy that went fishing with me in a couple of my other videos. Hopefully you've already seen those videos because you've already been following Southern Extreme TV. So now, we're gonna go up here, we're gonna shoot some guns, we're gonna have some fun. I got a couple new toys. One of them you've seen is my AR pistol by Palmetto State Armory and I just got a new toy as well. Well, we got we got two other got two other guns that we got besides that one. One is a 308 from Palmetto State Army. The other one I'm going to show you guys in another video, but you're probably going to see me shooting it today. I'm going to do a full review on it here in the next couple of weeks just so we get a little more in-depth look at it. So today we're just going to be shooting, fun shooting. We're going to go up here, we're going to have some fun, guys. So yeah. All right, guys, we are here at the range. This is where we shoot projectiles out of really awesome things into the ground we don't have any targets because i'm just we this wasn't planned this isn't something that we said hey taylor come over we're gonna shoot guns it was more like hey taylor we're having spaghetti tonight and then we ate spaghetti and then we said let's go shoot guns so so let me show you this taylor hold that up oh my oh my gosh look at that psa 308 18 inch barrel stainless steel palmetto state armory over molded grip with the magpul stock now let me tell you one thing about this gun palmetto state armory sent me the wrong buffer tube on this lower it does not allow my bolt to go all the way back so if this thing chamber uh, ejects a shell i have no idea if it will or not it's never been shot palmetto state armory is sending me a new buffer tube and buffer spring that is going to solve my bolt lock back issue because i got an issue going on with it right now <clears throat> so that's a different story for another time but a uh palm minister army they are fixing it free of charge they're sending me a new one don't have to send the other one back awesome company to work with um just all around good gun so we're going to start off we're going to save that one for last we're going to save that one for last we're going to start off we're going to let taylor shoot this ar pistol that you guys have already seen in one of my other videos and uh this thing is loud so i want him to shoot it first Making smoke clouds. We have everything good to go. Still nothing in the chamber. Bolt back. Gonna give this to Taylor. I'm gonna let Taylor shoot it. He's never shot. You've never sh you've shot a 308, but you've never shot. I'm, I mean, a 380. I apologize. You've shot a 380, just not out of the Ruger LCP2 like this, right? Correct. Perfect. So go ahead and lock and load her. Mm. And she is locked back. Nice and pretty locked. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ew. All right, guys. Ruger LCP2 holds six in this little single stack clip. Can get seven if you go ahead and lock one in the chamber. Go and let you guys see. We're clear right now. Gonna load with clip in. Gonna go hot. Now let's shoot this bad boy a couple times. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. What is different in this LCP2 versus the original LCP that Ruger had is that this will lock back. The other LCP, t uh, LCP that Ruger made, you just you don't really know when your last round is there because it doesn't lock back and, until you squeeze the trigger. So this is something that I really like on this. I'm gonna go into more detail 
on the actual review of it so i don't want to talk too much and bore you guys it is time to break in my new puppy and i'm gonna do a review on this one letting you guys get a little sneak peek of it um palmetto set armory upper and lower 308 they did put the wrong buffer tube and buffer spring on this gun so honestly i don't have the first clue if this is gonna chamber or you know eject a shell or not so the only way to find out is to load this bad boy up and shoot it and see what happens don't have a scope on it just shooting it into the ground had three in there and it cycled all three rounds but didn't lock my bolt back and the reason behind that is my bolt is traveling back far enough to eject my shell but it's not coming back far enough to get caught on my bolt stop but because you have all of the semi-automatic actions and springs and all that stuff going on in here it just absorbs a lot of that um, impact and a lot of that recoil that you get so i'm gonna load this bad boy up and let's uh let's shoot five this time let's shoot five rounds this time feel the heat coming off that one there's five rounds again and it did not lock the bolt back so obviously it's definitely the problem that we got um, but they're they're sending me new stuff. They're gonna get it fixed. When I get it fixed, I'm gonna do the full review for you guys. But I got this gun mainly to do some hog hunts with. Go and wrap this video up. Been a good day. I cannot thank you guys enough for watching Southern Extreme TV. It means the absolute world to me. If you don't mind, while we're sitting here talking about it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here in the top left corner, guys. It means the world to me. It lets me know that you guys appreciate and like what I'm doing here. And as always. Um, Hey, until next time, thanks for watching. I'll be sure to bring you on in my next adventure, guys.